In the year 2000, an American foundation with a tradition of supporting our country's expertise on Russia took the unexpected step of helping launch what would become a 10-year, $40 million program to support the advanced social sciences within Russia itself. The prime mover behind this success story is an Armenian native of Iran who journeyed to the United States in 1956 to pursue his dream of a higher education and began a remarkable odyssey that has made an important impact around the world. When I was a, a little boy, I always liked smell of the books, newly minted books when they came. You know, it was like a renewal of a season and a session level book and I also I was a uh, page in the uh, Armenian Archdiocese of uh, Azerbaijan northern Iran where I was born uh, library shelving books but library gave me an oasis it is a remarkable story of a young man uh, born in Iran of Armenian parents who grew up in a very tightly knit Armenian community who excelled in education as a result, went off to the American University in Beirut, Lebanon, uh, excelled there and went on up like a shooting star. Vartan's arrival in the United States marked the beginning of a steady rise through the ranks of higher learning, first as a student, then as a professor, and eventually as a dean. Along the way, he left his mark at some of the nation's most prestigious academic institutions, culminating with his nine years of service as president of Brown University. What strikes me as so unique about him is that he is on the one hand a scholar, a man whose who's great appreciation and passion for learning and for knowledge, especially history, um, but he has the soul of a, of a scholar and the passions of a scholar. And you go to his office, it's piled six feet high in books everywhere. Um, but at the same time, he has this, the personality of a politician, um, of a great politician or a civic leader. The warmth, the optimism, the determination to make things different, to get things done. And those two personalities don't coexist in very many people. Dr. Gregorian's love of learning also showed in his work to help save the New York Public Library. Falling apart and crippled by budget deficits, the library's leaders needed a new president who could raise money and fix not just decaying buildings, but the city's attachment to this important part of its cultural heritage. They found their man in Vartan. As one member of the library search committee wrote, instinctively, I knew he was it. Here was the man who could do the job. After eight years under his leadership, the library had been restored as a cultural landmark, and Vartan had added a new dimension to his career path as a leader of institutions that promote and disseminate knowledge. His efforts at the library are consistent with his view of, of opportunity for all. Uh, public libraries serve uh, the vast array of, of citizens. It, it's not an enclave of the, of the wealthy. It's, it's where actually today where some of our poorest citizens have to go not only to, to get information but also to even apply for a job because they don't have a computer at home. Varden I think sensed the central role of public libraries and knew that his efforts at the uh, New York Public Library would be not only beneficial to that city, but to the whole country. In 1997, Dr. Gregorian was named president of Carnegie Corporation of New York. And today, he continues to be a global positive force by overseeing its many programs and initiatives designed to do real and permanent good in this world. Building on a century of the corporation's good works, he refocused Carnegie's efforts to concentrate on education, international peace and security, international development, and democracy. He instituted innovative special projects that cut across the program areas, including 
projects to advance international peace and to build educational opportunity in Africa. One of these signature programs is known as the CASE program, a network of nine centers for advanced study and education spread across Russia, established by Carnegie Corporation and the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation and other donors, including the Russian Ministry of Education. These centers serve as models for the world-class Russian universities of the 21st century, bringing together research and interactive teaching styles to challenge students and encouraging productive debate. At a time when other foundations were backing away from Russia and international commitments, Vartan made sure the CASE program expanded its reach, allowing the scholars in its network of centers to forge international ties. Communist Party dominated in Russia for many, many years, so real intellectual freedom was uh, uh, something that was uh, uh, very difficult for people that was there, and some people really uh, certainly maintained their intellectual uh, integrity, but it was difficult, and he understood after the breakup of the Soviet Union that the Russian uh, rebuilding and the Russian uh, civilization uh, marching forward and getting over the huge uh, pain brought about by many, many years of, uh, of communism and a dictatorship uh, was going to take the real leaders. So he stepped in at the right time uh, with resources that were enormously important at a critical juncture in Russian history. The uh, beauty of the program was that uh, it was uh, the only long-term program uh, which was uh, focused uh, on uh, university social science and humanities. We help graduate students and professors in terms of not only giving resources for them to work there, but also to work with each other regionally, to exchange ideas, professors, and also at the same time to have uh, exchanges with American and Western universities. Tonight, we honor Dr. Vartan Gregorian with the Woodrow Wilson Award for Public Service for his tireless efforts to advance the values of education, peace, and democracy throughout his adopted country and the world. And in keeping with the mission of the Catherine and Shelby Cullum Davis Dinner to recognize those who build bridges between Russia and the United States through their good works, we celebrate his achievements and contributions to improving American understanding of Russia and forging institutional and interpersonal ties that unite our countries and our people. Vartan, I want to give you my warmest and heartiest congratulations on this award. Greg, uh, we're all delighted that you're being recognized by this prestigious award. It is a tribute to your career, uh, to the fact not only that you have led in so many different ways, but you've never forgotten to ensure that others have an opportunity to lead. Your friendship has sustained me. Uh, together with Claire, you have been remarkably kind and understanding. Uh, tonight, I wish you the very, very best. You have uh, this incredible ability to motivate and to energize everyone around you. And this is exactly what makes you a great leader. Vartan, I can't think of anybody more deserving of this award. Congratulations, Vartan. You deserve this award. You are a real bridge builder. You build bridges in so many directions, it's hard to even name them all. But you're every day thinking about how you make the world better. Uh, your global vision, you're caring about people, you're listening to people, and your tremendous skills as a leader are invaluable, not only to the United States, not only to Carnegie, but indeed to the globe. So I'm very proud to uh, call you a friend, and no one deserves this award more than my friend, Vartan Gregorian.